Here's a problem that I run into every once in a while, and it has to do with putting the tub in incorrectly without leveling it. And then, of course, water can accumulate in the corners, and this isn't a good thing all the way around. Uh, it doesn't really matter what type of surround you use. Water needs to drain away from these areas. Otherwise, you're going to get mold or you're going to increase your chances of getting mold. Now, I understand, you know, looking at the video really can't see it good um, where the water is. So I went ahead and placed a some tissue paper there. You know, white, uh, you can see it here. It's just, I, I can't see it in the uh, videos, but you can see I just took and wadded up a small piece of toilet paper, a few pieces, and threw it in the corner. You can actually see where the water is absorbing into the paper. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute. You know, maybe I just put some water on there and uh, or I wet the tissues, but uh, that wasn't the case. Ah, that's a trick, though. Maybe I should, uh, should get a little more creative with some of these videos. Uh, the problem, how to uh, make sure this doesn't happen, you will need to double check the tub. The, a lot of these steel tubs require a 2x4 nailed to the back of the wall and then the lip of the tub, the back of the tub, sits on top of this 2x4. Now if the 2x4 is uh, not nailed in the right spot, then um, you are going to have water accumulating in these areas, or it can drain off even, drain off if it's the opposite. So all I'm asking you to do, if you do put a bathtub in, you're installing a bathtub and you think you have everything correct, um, double check it. So after the bathtub has been installed, grab a level and check it in all three directions. Make sure that it is installed correctly so that you don't have to deal with something like this in the future.